Tie that bow on Harm Knee's cloud? Why would I do that? Because it's in the way of us saving him. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, yeah. The big old nasty looking kind. Thanks. Hmm. Sounds bad. I'd better go find a knot expert for advice. Yeah, like a professional knotologist. Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. You seem good with your hands. You know anything about knots? Sure. Tying or untying? Untying. I see. What's it look like? A little bit like you, strangely enough. Hmm. I think I know that one. Well, let me just draw you a quick diagram. Oh. What? Well, I can't seem to find anything to draw with. I'm sorry. I guess I'm of no use after all. Hang on. I'll be right back with a writing utensil. Can I borrow your space pencil? Uh, it's just a regular pencil, but okay. Okay, see you later. Okay. were so primitive in Alex's day. I mean, this thing only writes in two colors. Hey, I found a pencil. Oh, great. Hand it over, honey. Now, what was I gonna draw for you again? Oh, yeah. Untying knots. Hmm. I think I know that one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly. Oh, you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, man. Even this place is rigged for safety. My mom would love it here. Give that not another try, okay? Okay. Make the baby play patty cake. Gotcha. It's still naughty, but now it's less naughty. Unravel the sweater. Like this? I think we're getting somewhere. Tug on the piggy's tail. Right. That helped a little. I got it! Hey, get your mitts off that! What the heck? Avert your eyes! Further, get me a towel. Brother Lightbeard, what is all that stuff? I know it looks like a big hoarding junk pile, but you have to understand. I might need some of this stuff someday. But everything you said about lightness, I... I don't know what I believe. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and oh, I'll this get is a bad. Pole. Hey, is that a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit right there? I have no idea, but you're welcome to take it. What? The, no, that's mine! My lightness! As a matter of fact, is there any place you'd like it delivered? Yep, this came from my ship. Someone must have looted it while I was asleep. You sure you don't want to ride over the plague dam with us, Father? No, I need to go take care of Harmony. Goodbye, space boys. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to look young, but I'm obviously a grown man, right? fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Hey, wanna hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? smallest full-grown tree you ever heard of? Well, some say the dwarf willow, but it's really no more than a shrub, if you ask me. I've seen one no bigger than my hand. Oh yeah? What was it called? A palm tree. A palm tree? But those aren't really... Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> you get a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole. Yikes, how's that thing talking? Ooh, that's creepy. Someone's written, better not move it. I don't want to cheese off Gus. I wonder what would happen if I carefully inserted this tapper. Not very deep, of course. Just into the outer layer of the shell. Uh, I, I was just trying to... Get a sample. Uh... I was close. I'd better get out of here before she remembers to kill me. My money's on the big guy. Hey, Husker. Walter. Shay? Shay. Do you guys know those girls selling cupcakes over there? Yes, those are our daughters. They just met, but it seems like they've been friends for years. Watch out for those cupcakes, though. They are not the secret to lightness, I'll tell you. Personally, I only eat the frosting. The sugar keeps my hair shiny and smooth. Oh, you mean that pack rat on that pile of junk back there? Um, pack rat? Yeah, turns out he was hiding this amazing mountain of trash under the fake cloud covering. Darn it! I knew it! You did? Well, I mean, there were signs, and one day it hit me. An epiphany? No. A license plate fell on my head when I was walking under his cloud, but I just didn't want to admit it to my family after making them all move up here. I am the worst father in the world. Did you willingly give up your own daughter as a sacrifice to save a town that didn't deserve her? No. Then you're doing all right, Walt. Well, see you guys later. Take care, sir. Anybody want a cupcake? Oh, thanks, but I can't. Something about eating my daughter's face. Aw, oh, Husker. That's the best part. In fact, that's the only part I eat. I'm off gluten, you know. Uh-oh. Hey, want a 
frostless? Oh, darn! Why'd I go and do that? Now I don't have any frosting left to make a cupcake for Velda. You can give her this one. Oh, hey! Good idea! Here, you can take my empty. See if you can get it refilled, okay? Okay. Hey, hey! You wanna buy a cupcake? Hey, hey! You wanna buy a cupcake? Uh... Frosting, but it's still a nice, heavy. Oh man, even this place is rigged for safety. My mom would love it here. Uh oh. Every leaf is a miracle. On guard, druids. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. She's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed him because I can see. I've been I've been pretending to be blind all these years. <gasps> I never really had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Dawn. I was pretending too, so I could be like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact. I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. M me too! I would have left long ago, but I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. I want to study graphic design and start a band. Let's do it. Let's just go. Right now? Right now! But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? Ah! <laughs> oh, that's what I get for learning defense with candy canes. Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. Down here. They all turned on me, after all I've done for them. How long do you think they'll keep you locked up? You know, I'm not even worried for myself. But what did they do with all my stuff? Have any regrets? I should have never abandoned my underwater commune. Now that was a sweet gig. I just got so sick of fish, you know? Want me to get you out? No. This cage is really for my protection. <clears throat> What's Harmony doing in that cage? Heather carried him down here and stuffed him in. Told us not to let him out. Said he was getting rid of some trash the town didn't need anymore. I'm sure he'll let him back out eventually. Or maybe a big monster will come and eat him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you get... Uh, yeah. Huh. 
Never seen this kind of material before. Can you sew it? Shouldn't be a problem. That's the spirit. Well, only one thing to do now. Twyla! Don't worry! I'll be right back! Come on, Vera! Oh. Oh, I thought my teenager was dramatic. <laughs> Great! But what's with all the feathers? Just because I was working off a pattern doesn't mean I can't inject a little personal style, does it? Dear, you are an incredible talent. Okay, just stay quiet, you. Honey, sugar pa, baby mine. Shh. It seems like so much work to teach a fish to sing. I wonder why they didn't teach it a second song. You think you like me now? Why do you try me with a wedge of lemon? What's that? You get a lo lot of fish when you use the right equipment. You caught that fish? On this beach? What's your secret? Hmm. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Let me think about it. Ah. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's... Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch. But I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Well... Okay, you've worn me down. I've decided to tell you about my fishing secret weapon. Your what? This. The hook that I caught that amazing fish with. I call it the Fish Reaper. Or Freeper. You don't say. Hey, uh, do you suppose I could borrow your Freeper for a little while? Borrow my Freeper? It's like a part of my body. I'll give it back. Sorry. Oh. Hey, Carol. Okay, you've worn me down. But please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. Thanks, kid. Guess I don't need this anymore. Come to Carol, my beauty. Sir, I hope you don't intend to eat that putrid smelling concoction. Nope. Whew. Just dipping your toes in it. But sir, I... Oh my. Not to question the mission, sir, but was there some reason you stuck me into that toxic potion? The spoon that gathers only knowledge may be the fullest spoon of all. Beautifully stated, sir.
Yuck. No way. Dad? Son? At least now we have a plan. Right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is... What to do when we get there. Right. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. How's the whole patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient until I know I have the pH balanced correctly. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on, just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be... somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. How'd you get the calcium carbonate? By grinding up every seashell on the beach. But I fear it's still not enough. Where can I get more calcium carbonate? That's a great question. If I could find just one more shell, that would help. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. What are those, eggshells? Shells is shells, right? Actually, calcium carbonate is the main ingredient in all kinds of shells. Exactly. So you were listening to my night lectures on science. Uh-huh. Dad? Son? How's the hull patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient. How would you change? How would you lower the pH? I would try to find something mildly acidic. Oh, what I wouldn't do for some splarg right now. So, cereal is acidic? No. It just helps me think. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. I'm going to save my juice for a higher purpose. I'm going to save my juice for a higher purpose. Looks like a pitch pipe. Juicy. Hang on there, son. Do you know how acidic that fruit is? No, but my spoon will tell me. I will. With pleasure, sir. Mm, worth a shot. How's the pH balance in there? The mixture has a pH balance of... Eleven. Exactly. Getting there. Real seagulls. Not made of yarn. How's the pH balance in there? The mixture has a pH balance of 9. Exactly. Getting there. Any 
luck. I'm detecting a pH level of... Seven! Eureka! It's perfectly balanced, sir. Nice work, son. Now for the final ingredient. Just a small bonding and reduction agent. It's perfection. It's so small. A little goes a long way. Come on, let's go fix that ship. I love science. Mmm, amazing. Just like my dad used to make. Let me at that hull and I'll start patching her up. Sure, uh, go ahead. Hey, can I go down there? Uh, aren't you busy helping me find stuff for my ship? Oh, yeah. What's left? Still need an electronics genius, and uh, I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Hey, I got a radiation suit. Great. Hey, uh, what's up with all the feathers? Extra protection. Recent tech advancement. You don't say. Well, I have been asleep for a long time. It's Carol's spool of wire. Nicely wound. <sighs> Lorraine would have loved that. Who's Lorraine? Oh, just a woman I knew once. When she wound spaghetti, it was like watching the ballet. Hey, there's a big sparking hole in the floor. That's your superconductive gyroscopic hypercam in action, man. Works like crazy. Well, look at that. Now, I'm out of wire. At least he's got more wires now. I think Alex would kill me if I mess with this stuff. I think Alex would kill me if I mess with this stuff. No, Alex would kill me if I mess with that after he just got it working. It's not exactly the same shape, but maybe if I turn it... Well, heck. all my wire. I have a good feeling about that pattern. But I don't know why. Hey, he's alive. You're alive, little buddy. How do you feel? So glad to have you back. Hey, how about this little guy? I think he wants to help. Wow, look at him go. Oh, and he knows electronics. Great. He might just be the genius I was looking for. Yep, and they do windows. Well, thanks, Shay. That about does it. Is there anything left for me to do? Just sit here and wait for your dad to pass the hall, and then we'll take off. How long do you think that will take? Hey, I waited 300 years for this. We can wait a few more minutes. <sighs> 